In this video, I'm going to show you how to add a request the quote functionality to your WooCommerce store in just a few simple steps. Throughout this video, I'm going to show you how to allow your customers to convert their cart into a quote so the customers can choose the particular variants they're interested in and request the quote for that particular variation only. I'm going to show you how you can also allow um, customers to download their quote as a PDF, how to set an expiry date on a quote, how to hide prices, um, customize the add to cart button and so much more so it's going to be a jam-packed video so without further ado let's get straight into it okay so the first step is to head over to wesuite.com go ahead and download the wesuite request the quote plugin once you've done so let's head back over to our dashboard i'll leave a link in the description below Okay, so here we are in our WordPress dashboard. And now the next step, assuming you've downloaded the WeSuite request the quote plugin, is just to go ahead and upload that plugin. So you navigate to um, plugins, add new, go ahead and upload and install that plugin. Once you've done so, you'll see this WeSuite menu here. Activate your license key, and then it'll take you to this um, add on section here. And we can just simply enable the request the quote option. And then we can go ahead and click manage if you don't see this manage option if you refresh the page you'll see the request the quote option um, on the side here okay so i'll just click this manage link in a new tab and now we're going to create our first rule okay so we'll just click add rule okay and then we can just give this a name and it's just for internal purposes only so i'm going to say um quote for admin Okay, so throughout this video, to save having to log out and log back into the site, I'm going to create the quotation system for admin only, okay? But in your case, obviously, you'll do it for um, your retail customers and B2B customers if that's your target market. Okay, so where it says rule type, we can set this to guest users, which are all users logged out of our site, or we can set it for a specific user role. Okay, and then for the rule priority, um, we can add um, a number here between one and 10, um, one being the highest. So if a customer matches two different rules, the rule with the highest priority will run, okay? And then here we can select the user role. So I'm gonna select admin and for the targeting so we can set this rule to apply to all products okay by enabling this option or specific products or products within a specific category okay but just to make um, life easier for myself i'm going to set it to all products but you've got the option to choose from a specific product or categories or just all products okay so i've just selected all products here okay and then now we've got the option to hide um, the price so we can say yes or no so i'm going to hide the price it makes sense here okay and then when we hide the price we can replace that with a specific text if we wanted so if this was for guest users for example this is what we see from a lot of our customers when it's guest users they'll hide the price and they'll say something like um, log to view um, price right and this will basically encourage um, those guest users to register and then they can follow up with them and so on okay um, log in to view price okay okay so um hide the add to cart button so we've got a few options here we can replace the add to cart button with a quote button or we can keep the add to cart button and then display a quote button okay or we can replace the add to cart button with a custom button or we can just go ahead and keep the add to cart button and then add a custom um, button so the difference between the quote button and a custom button is let's say this one so this is a quote button i'll quickly show you and then um, we'll come back here and i'll explain the difference okay so i'll just say um request quote and then i'll publish this rule okay so now when we visit our site page here we can see um we've got a custom quote button and where the price usually is, it's prompting us to log in to view the price, okay? And then we can actually go ahead and request the quote. So if we navigate to the product page, let's go ahead and choose a variable product um, for this example. Right, so here we've got the option to choose the variation that we want, okay? And then we can go ahead and request the quote. Okay, and that's been added to our quote basket just fine. So we can go ahead and view the quote basket okay and the fields here we can customize them so we can add them um, custom fields so maybe we want the customers um, company details and so on so we can add extra fields for this here okay all right so let's navigate back to our rule 
So if we say replace the add to cart button with a custom button, here we can choose the button label, but now we've got the option to link the button to a different page, okay? So if you add um, a custom contact form or something else that you wanted to use, you can do that, okay? So you can link them to somewhere else, or you can say um, a call us for a price or um, any other call to action you wanna use, you can do that here. Okay, we can create multiple rules as well. So if we navigate back to all rules, so this is a rule for admin. We can create a rule for guest users or for a different user segment, but that's how we'd get started in creating a rule, okay? So now we'll navigate to settings. For the quote basket placement, we've got the option to add our quote basket to the navigation, okay? And we can choose um, which navigation we wanna select here. I've only got one on this side, so we can choose navigation here. And then for the quote basket style, we can show a quote basket with a drop down, or we can show the icon with the number of items, okay? Let's say, for example, we didn't have a quote rule in place, we could use this option here where it says convert cart to quote, okay? So we can enable this option. And then on a cart page, the customer will have the option to actually request the quote for all the items within their basket. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and enable this. So I'm gonna show it below the checkout, okay? Um, so maybe we only wanna show the convert um, a cart to quote um, based on the um, customer's location, okay? So for the countries in which we don't typically ship to, in this case, it makes sense to actually um, prompt customers to request the quote since the shipping will be significantly higher than shipping locally, okay? So I'm gonna say whenever um, a customer is trying to check out at a location that's not covered by us, in fact, just to keep it simple, I'm gonna set it to um, the US Okay, so we've got the US shipping zone and I think um, I'm logged in as a US customer. So I'm gonna enable this option here. So the convert cart to quote um, option will only show if the customer is within this USA shipping zone, okay? And then for the label, we can say request um, shipping quote, okay? Or whatever it is you wanna use. So we've got the option to enable or disable um, the quotation functionality to guest users, which are users logged out of our site. You can enable this option because we've created a new feature which allows um, guest users to accept a quote within their email and then um, convert that quote to an order and then go ahead and pay for that order. I'll show you how to do that later on. Let's leave these as it is for now. Um, store manager email. So you can add in the store manager email that will get an email each time a new quotation is requested. Okay, then we've got a few custom messages. Um, for example, when a quote successfully added um, and so on. Redirection setting. So after a customer adds a quote to their quote basket, we can choose to redirect them to the quote page. And then after they've submitted the um, quotation, we can choose to redirect them to somewhere else and then we'll just add the redirection link here. Okay, fields. So we've got a few default fields here that you can enable or disable. Okay, for example, company name. We can enable this and then we can choose the order as well. We can choose the label, All right? And then we can add some custom fields here as well. In a future update, we'll give you the option to add more fields to your quotation form. Okay, and then our capture setting, you've got the option to enable Google Recapture V2. So you just enable this and then just fill in the details here, okay, from your Google account. And um, page builder compatibility, so it works with um, Elementor, Divi. We haven't checked any of the other ones, but chances are it should work. If not, let us know. Okay, and then email notification. So we've got um, email notification for um, admin slash store manager and then we've got a customer email as well so if we click on this so whenever a quote's pending we can um, send automatically send customers um, various emails so we can choose a subject line we can choose the um, message um, whenever a quote's accepted we can send a message as well so we just tick this option to enable it and just leave it on tick to disable it okay so it's the same for admin as well. Whenever there's a pending um, quote, 
um, we can automatically send admin a email, same for approval and same for rejection as well. Okay, and then PDF setting. So we can enable this option if we wanna allow customers to be able to download their quote into a PDF, okay? So we'll save this and then we'll go ahead and check out the user flow from um, requesting a quote and accepting a quote, okay? So two options I'm gonna show you. So I'm gonna show you the flow for a logged in user. So currently I'm logged in, okay? And we've got this quote basket here. So let's just go ahead and request the quote here. So if you remember, I enabled this company field. So that's why we're seeing this extra field here. So we can say ABC limited. Okay, we can add a custom message and then maybe we can say we want 200 of this particular product, okay? Then we'll hit submit. Okay, so our quote's been successfully submitted. And since I'm logged in, by the way, here's our quote um, basket that we added to this navigation menu. Um, since I'm already logged in, let's navigate to our account page and I'll show you where you'll see all your um, historical quotes, okay? So within the user account, we've got this quote tab here. And if they click on it, we can see all the quotes that we've um, requested, okay? So if we click on this one, we can view the quote. Okay, and we can see it's for this particular product. We can download it onto a PDF. And as you can see, this quote isn't ready yet. Um, if we head back to the admin dashboard, if we click on submitted quotes, here we can see all the quotes that's been requested. So we can view this one. Okay, and we can see the customer's email. If you remember, I typed in um, this company name. Um, so now we can add a expiry date to this quotation. Okay, meaning once it's past the expiry date, um, the customer won't be able to accept that quote anymore. We can see that the quote, the customer um, wanted this particular variation and the current price is $15 and the quantity that the customer wants is 200. So we can give them a custom price and we can say um, $10 for example. And then we can add a custom shipping charge here. Okay, so we can say $500. And then once we're satisfied, we can go ahead and publish this quote. We can also add more products um, to the quotation as well. So let's publish this. Okay, so that's been sent to the customer. Here you can notice um, the status as well. So if the customer approves it, it will automatically change to approved or rejected or expired if it's gone past this um, particular time here. So the customer will get an email and then now when we navigate to quotes and when we view quote, we can see um, this quotation here. So we can see that the price is $10 for um, the 200 units that we requested. We can see the shipping fee is $500 and now we've got the option to approve or reject this quote. We can also download it into a PDF. We've got a customer name and when it was created, expiry. Okay, then we can approve or reject it. So let's go ahead and approve it. If we approve it, it will automatically convert it into an order. And then if we reject it, then it will just be archived. Okay, so I've currently accepted it. And here you can see it's been converted into an order. And then based on the payment method that you've got on your store, they can go ahead and um, proceed with the payments. So the next user flow I'm going to show you is as a guest user, okay? So I'm going to show you what happens when a guest user um, requests the quote. Okay, so what we can do is we can create a um, new rule for guest users. But since we've already got this option enable, where we are allowing um, certain customers within the shipping region to request the quote, request the custom shipping quote, I'm going to go with this approach instead. So both of them, um, the flow should be exactly the same, right? The only difference is in this scenario, the customers add in the products a cart and then when they're on the cart page, they'll get the option to request the quote. So whereas if we create a new rule, it'll look just like this for guest users, okay? So I just wanna show you a different user flow. So let's just check this site in a private browser, okay? And here the customer can browse just as normal and I've already got a product um, added to cart. We can add another one actually. 
Okay, then we'll view the cart and then now the customer has two options. So since I'm shipping within the US, um, we've got this request the quote um, option here as well. So the customer can either proceed to check out or they can request the quote. So if we click this option here, it'll automatically convert um, all the items within my cart into the quotation form, okay? So we can add um, the company name here as well and we can go ahead and add our email. Okay, so let's submit this. Okay, so that's successfully submitted. So now let's navigate back over to our admin panel and then we'll navigate to submitted quotes. And then now we've got this new quote, which we've just requested. So if we hit view quote. Okay, so here we can see the customer information or the fields that they filled in. And then now we've got the option to set an expiry date. Again, this is optional and we can increase, decrease the quantity and then we can give them a custom price as well. Okay. So we can say 1695. Okay. And then we can add a custom shipping charge. So again, we can say 350 or in this case, let's, yeah, we'll just say 350. Okay. Okay. And then we'll go ahead and hit publish. So now if I check this customer email address, there should be a message informing us that there's a new quote and we'll have the option to accept or reject it by email. Okay. So let's check now. Okay. And now when we check our email, we can see our custom quotation here. So we've got the subject line, which is what we set um, when we were setting up the email um, notification. We've got the product information, the quantity, usually the price displays here. I'll double check um, why it's not displaying. Most likely I'm using the older version of this plugin, but we've got the option here to accept or reject this offer. Okay, so I'm gonna copy this link and I'm gonna open it in a new tab because I'm currently logged in as admin, so um, it won't work that way. So I'm gonna open up a new tab now and I'm gonna paste this accepted link here. It's a unique link and it'll pre-populate the checkout with all the um, information. Okay, so we've got our price and then we've got our custom shipping here. And then we can just go ahead and go through the checkout as we would any other um, order on WooCommerce. Okay, so we've covered quite a lot of use case within this video. I've shown you how to create a request a quote for registered users and how you can also do it um, for guest users as well. And to regions as well which you don't necessarily ship to and how to apply a request a quote option on the cart page as well so there's much more in which we can cover but we've created individual videos so if there's anything that we haven't covered um i'll leave a playlist um to all the videos on the request the quote plugin somewhere around this video and as always if you've got any questions leave it in the comment box below or reach out to support and we'll get back to you as soon as possible